Located just south of Tokyo, the Kanagawa Prefecture is home to a number of cities that are favorites for both Japan residents and visitors alike. Over the next couple of weeks, Dokogai TV will be featuring various locales and highlights in and around Kanagawa. With a population of over 3 million people, the capital of the Kanagawa Prefecture, Yokohama, is Japan's second largest city after Tokyo. Yokohama City's overall feeling of space and many family friendly attractions is why it's one of my favorite places to visit while in Japan. Here are some Yokohama destinations that we visited on our Dokogai TV tours and some places you may want to investigate when in the area. For the beer fans out there, the Kirin Yokohama Beer Village is one of nine factories for Kirin, and each factory offers free tours and free beer tasting, and of course, soft drinks for miners. Arguably the food source for many students and budget minded folks across the world, Momofuku Ando's creation of cup noodle instant ramen is celebrated at the Nishin Cup Noodle Museum. And yes, you can make your own cup noodle too. Yokohama is also home to the largest Chinatown in Japan. Opened for foreign trade in 1859, Yokohama's Chinatown is home to many businesses and restaurants. I highly suggest trying out some of the food carts and street side vendors. This is a premium Nikoma. There's pork inside, scallops, shark fin, all kinds of goodness in here. It's as big as my head. I have a pretty big head. So, wow, look at that. Itadakimasu. For a less city-centric, more traditional type of Japan experience, about an hour south of Yokohama is the city of Kamakura. Kamakura's bamboo forest, series of shrines and temples, and the Daibutsu or Giant Buddha are a few of the many must-experience facets of Kamakura. If you happen to be visiting there by train, located at Kamakura Station, is Seafood Bowl and Tempura Donburi restaurant Fuding. Fuding's great selections, fresh seafood, and budget friendly menu is a great dining option for lunch or dinner. For those of you that want to dress up in a kimono or yukata and completely immerse yourself in the Kamakura historic experience, visit Dokuga TV dear friend Yoshie Ito at Itohiko Kamakura Kimono Shop. This Dokuga TV segment actually started a few years ago during our first filming there. The story, which started in 2015 in Kamakura, found its conclusion here in Hawaii, specifically in Nuuanu. On our last season of Dokuga TV Japan Mania, we did a Kamakura-centric episode showcasing some of the key historic locations, town highlights, and people of this incredible coastal town. Kamakura was also the capital of Japan prior to Kyoto and Tokyo. Since then, I've brought numerous tours there and one of the key highlights of that episode and our tours was visiting Masumune Swordsmith.
since the 13th century, for over 700 years, Masamune Swordsmith has been considered the top sword maker in all of Japan. Swordmaster Tsunahiro Yamamura has continued the Masamune legacy, and when we first visited Yamamura-san, he informed us that his son actually lives in Hawaii, and that his son is a reverend at the Honolulu Myohoji Mission, as well as being an opera singer. It's been a mission of ours to find his son and find out more about what brought him to Hawaii, as well as his career path and his departure from his family's very historic, very renowned sword-making tradition. Very happy to be here today, folks, on a special Dohogai TV here in Hawaii. Now, one of the most popular segments that we did for Japan Mania was in Kamakura. Yes. And the most popular segment overall in Kamakura, actually for the entire new season, was Masumi mm -hmm. Sorts this Shop. Mm -hmm. Now, the very stoic and very uh, amazing owner there had mentioned that his son <laughs> was in Hawaii and as a singer and he, of course he showed us the magazine so yeah. today we are here with the son himself i call him sensei oh, okay. uh, i'm reverend takamasa yamamura uh, i'm a head minister of uh, this temple honolulu myohoji mission uh, yeah actually i'm a minister uh, to propagate Nichiren buddhism in, in hawaii and usa and then uh, I have a, a singer's career, <laughs> yeah. so uh, I'm actually I'm singing for the community right now. One of the things that I should mention is as soon as um, we, we left Masamune, I had a few tours that came back to Kamakura. Everyone loved the shop and then your father would show them the magazine every time. Mm -hmm. So like, wow, he lives in Hawaii? And the first thing, all the women said, Gakuye! <laughs> Obviously, I'm so <laughs> very handsome. No, very, I, 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 I'm so happy that we're here with you today. So, kyo arigatou gozaimasu. Thank you, for, thank you very much for welcoming us here yeah. to Dokoga TV. Yeah, to your I'm very your happy place here. to see you. Too. <laughs> thank you, arigatou gozaimasu. Yeah, I, I was born uh, uh, near Mishima City. Ah, Mishima City. Oh, okay. Yeah, and then I grow grow up in the Kamakura City. From Kamakura, yeah, I went to Italy, in Rome. Oh, yeah. oh in Rome. <laughs> yeah. To become nice. opera singer, to I learn uh, opera technique, the voice technique, wow. yeah. And then, uh, actually, in Italy, I met the Italian monk of our oh. denomination. Really? Yeah. Yeah. Catholic? Yeah. Oh. Monk or, oh, like <laughs> Japanese? Monk. Japanese. Monk. Yeah, but you know, he's Italian Jewish. Oh. Yeah, oh. but he's he became a monk of you know our denomination, uh -huh. Nichiren Shu. He opened the temple mm -hmm. near Milan. Actually, I learned from him a lot. I see. And then he actually introduced uh, uh, many uh, our denominations ministers mm -hmm. in Japan I see. to me. Mm -hmm. And then I saw these, uh, you know, ministers. Mm -hmm. And then they are really, you know, good person. Yeah, you know, yeah, yeah, yeah. Actually, they, you know, good uh, obosan, oh, good see. ministers. I see. Mm -hmm. And then I saw. And then I thought, and then I decided, you know, become, and I wanted to, you know, uh, propagate sure. the Buddha Dharma, sure. you know, for all the world, you yeah. know. Mm -hmm. yeah. And then I talked with him, so Reverend Talabini. Mm -hmm. So he said, you you should become a kind of overseas ministers. Mm -hmm. But at that time, I could speak only Italian. I couldn't speak English. English. Oh, yeah, Japanese right, right now, I have, yeah, I have, I have also, you know, difficulty you know, to speak, but you know, still, still, <laughs> still, still, but you know, the headquarters of, of Nichiren uh -huh. Shu, he, she, he, he, they said you have to go, you know, in America to study English. English, I see. And then they sent me out to, to Hawaii. Wow. Yeah, and Is I came how? here. But oh you know, God. Hawaii, you know, people speak Japanese. <laughs> 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 yes. <laughs> it's amazing how one friendship 
Yeah. You know, it turns into yeah. right. You know. So your your initial trek from Kamakura to 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 Italy was for, for singing. Yeah, yeah was for, for opera. Singing. Yeah. It's amazing. And then after meeting a um, monk. Monk. monk there, and then uh, that decided like your your life's path mm -hmm. that brought you here to Hawaii. Yeah. Wow. It's amazing. It's yeah. truly. Well, of course, amazing. I had I had the faith, you know, uh, yes. of, of, of Buddhism, you know, of course. Of course. You know. Because when I was a child, you know, yeah. I, I, you know, practiced, you know, this, sure. this teaching, sure. mm. you know, but you know, my, you know, way of the minister started in, in Italy. Becoming a singer, firstly, I should have voice. You know? <laughs> yes. <laughs> <laughs> you know, actually, my, my opera teacher mm -hmm. discovered my, my voice. I, I'm a tenor. So, uh, and then, look, I didn't know, you know, I have a good voice. But he said, <laughs> you have a good voice. Oh. So, you should study. And then, yeah, of course, I have a passion to sing. I so, see, I see. And then I started, yeah. Ah, I see, I see. Just send me name, I will shoot you. I want to learn how to sing too. <laughs> so tenor, uh, tenor is that's hard. That's a that's yeah. a strong range, and it's yeah. a high high range yeah. too. High pitch, yeah, yeah, high. So, like, how old were you when you you figured out that you wanted to sing? Because a lot of times, great singers start from when they're very very young. Mm -hmm. So I'm curious. Yeah, because I was 18, okay. so I have to decide the way of the life. And yeah. then uh, actually I met, but I, I had the you know you know passion to sing. I see. And I, I'm looking for how you know. Sure, 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 to, sure. To, to go my sure. way, and then I I found you know uh, my my teacher. My teacher was opera singer. Mm -hmm. Yeah, this is my big reason. And, I'm look, looking for the teacher and the good voice trainer. Oh, but good, you know, opera singer is, you know, the perfect <laughs> yeah, yeah, teacher of the voice. That's true. That's and true. then, uh, you know, firstly, I, my teacher suggested you have to see the opera. Mm. Wow. And then, I, firstly, I saw DVD. Uh -huh. And then, I went to see opera. Uh -huh. And so, the, at that time, do you know three tenors? Yes, uh, yeah. yes, Pavarotti, yeah. Pavarotti, yeah. Yes, Carreras, very popular. Yes. Yeah, very yeah. popular. I love yeah. the three tenors. Yes. Yeah, they're it, amazing. You know, they show up, and i really impressed with, you know, this singing. Yeah. Yeah. That's why, actually, I decided to, uh, I want to become an opera singer. To I learn uh, opera technique, the voice technique. So, uh, Sensei, I gotta say, um, you know, as I mentioned earlier, the, for for myself uh, and many of the uh, people that went on our tours to Kamakura, mm -hmm. uh, and just our viewers, they, they're really drawn to the Masumune segment. And uh, when we first met your father, and to see the swordsmith shop, and mm -hmm. uh, we got to visit when they were actually pounding, mm -hmm. you know, the the metal and stuff. And uh, I I believe it's from 13th century or so from yes. from then yeah. that they were the sword maker in Japan. Yeah. Um, so, which brings us here, and, I, and I'm kind of, I hope it's okay to ask this question, because <laughs> yeah, no, so I'm please, very curious. Yeah, I'm, 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 I'm free, yeah. <laughs> As the generations, yeah. uh, normally, uh, family traditions continue, yeah. um, from father to son, to father to son, yeah. um, what what made you decide or to, uh, yes, uh, to go away from sword making <laughs> and to, you know, yeah, what you're doing this now? This kind of, you know, also I feel a little heavy. Ah. Uh, but uh, you know, but I tried actually. Oh. Yeah. Oh. But you know, about maybe you know, a you know, really short time, you know, uh -huh. period. I I tried under of him, mm -hmm. and then one day uh, I saw his uh, sword, mm. 
but that he made it. And then I felt something, you know, from deep of my mm -hmm. coming. I this is not my job. <laughs> this ah. is because I I don't want to make it. I see, I see, I see, you know. I see, I see. But my father actually loved katana. Yes, yes, yes. yes. And you know, he's he's kind of you know uh, bedroom. Yeah. You know, with katana, he. But ah. I, I don't want to sleep with katana. So <laughs> <laughs> you know. Sure, sure, sure. Yeah. So yeah. yeah yes. Yeah. Yes. It's kind of it's scary. A weapon, so. yeah, yeah, weapon. yeah, yeah, yeah. Yeah, it's a weapon, yeah. But actually, right now, kind of katana is art. You know. Art. Yes. Mm. However, I don't feel you know comfortable with mm. katana. I, I'm sorry for my ancestors. Sure, sure. And then, oh, actually, I discovered my voice, uh -huh. and then I explained to my father. Mm -hmm. And uh, yeah, of course, he disappointed. Sure. And you know, I was really sorry, and uh. I said, you know, sure, I don't sure, sure, you sure. know, take over your job. Yeah. But you know. After that, I became the minister mm -hmm. because uh, this denomination, Nichiren Shu, actually our family followed. Oh, our, uh, yeah, I see, I see. You it's know, mm -hmm. over 700 years. Mm -hmm. I see. Mm -hmm. So that's why he uh, actually understood. Mm, that's know. good. And, and then I have to say, you know, uh, his, his uh, tradition yeah. of katana, actually his disciples, mm -hmm. yeah. he has three disciples, mm -hmm. actually, it's taking over. Taking over. Oh, okay. So it worked out okay. Yeah. Sorry. To carry on the, yeah, the, the legacy. DNA, I'm sorry. But, <laughs> but I, I actually, I have a son. Uh -huh. I have one boy. If he wants to do, sure. maybe he, he mm. will take follow over. Up yeah, the, follow oh, okay. up. Follow yeah. up. Okay. But yeah, this is the story. Ah, yeah. okay. I was. Honestly, I, I wanted to ask you, the strict upbringing for mm -hmm. families in Japan, mm -hmm. the tradition after tradition, mm -hmm. generation after generation, mm -hmm. it's, a, it's a legacy of sorts. So yeah. it, it, I really did want to ask you that question. Yeah, on, yeah. and also I appreciated uh, my father because he's a, a kind of strong person. He's yeah. strict, but he didn't, you know, uh, he didn't push. Oh, push, mm -hmm. I see. Know, his job, you know, he right. said you you do, you know, what, yeah, yeah, whatever yeah. you want. Yeah. You know, he's really he has open mind. Sure. So sure. this is I have, but I see I think he he felt mm -hmm. you know you know kind of bad you know oh. because I couldn't you know. It was uh, another friend of ours actually, um, Yoshie san from the the kimono shop across the street oh, yeah? that had oh. talked to him. Oh, there's a film crew from Hawaii, oh. and so then he allowed us. He was very kind. He allowed uh -huh. us to come inside and then. He had the magazine. It's already open to your page. So, oh, yeah. <laughs> so he, he is really he's very proud of yes. you. <laughs> he's very, very proud of you. But I think it's great that, you know, um, what he does and what your family, uh, again, since 13th century has done. And, and really, it is an art now. And I, mm -hmm. when, when we did see the blade, it was so beautiful. Yeah, you know, the, the curve, the waves. Yeah. And, and um, I understand it's one of the most difficult ways in which mm -hmm. they make katana. But you're also creating beauty and tranquility in the world, you know, yes. through you, yeah. what, what you do I here. So, yeah. Thank you so much for your time today, Arigato Sensei. Arigato. 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 It was very, uh, it's a very great thing for us to, you know, because we started this story arc in Kamakura with your father, uh, and he was so excited to tell us about his incredible son here in Hawaii. So we're here in Nuuanu with Sensei himself, uh, and thank you again for being part of Dohoga TV's yeah. history. Thank you very much. I really appreciate it. Okay. Mahalo for watching, folks, and aloha. Aloha. On next week's Dokuga TV, Yuchi and I continue our trek through the Kanagawa area and discover some very delicious, fun, and somewhat interesting dining options in Yokohama. This is a Wanko Soba style of dining. The restaurant's name is Tachibana. Very, very famous restaurant. And as I understand, there's not many of these in Japan. And a Wanko Soba style basically is doing shots of soba. Probably not a good analogy, but pretty much what it's like. And they'll fill the bowl here with soba and of course the sauce, and you just down it. The okami san here was telling me that if you do it quickly, your mind doesn't tell you that, oh my gosh, you're eating so much of it, so you can actually eat more. Now, of course, as soon as I walked in, being from Hawaii, she profiled me and said, oh, he can do a hundred something. So I'm not sure if that's good or a bad thing. And it's a new experience for me, Wanko Soba here at Tachibana, topping my show. <laughs> Frozen cilantro margarita. This is uh, Pakchi margarita. This is Pakchi beer. Cilantro mm. beer. Mm. Hi. We are in Yokohama. I love Yokohama.
Yes. <laughs> Today, mm. I want to introduce mm. new restaurant oh. about Pakji. Eh? Pakji? Pakji! Cilantro? Yes! Are you cilantro restaurant? Yes! Oh! It, everything is about Zembu cilantro. Zembu! Zembu Pakji! Here! Pakji Jones! Oh! Pakji Jones! Wow! Ja, let's go! Let's go! Let's go. Mahalo for tuning in to tonight's Tokoga TV Japan Mania. See you folks next week, 8 p.m., here on K5 The Home Team.